Hi everyone, and welcome to Dodo Bird Drawing. Today's Drawing an Extinct Animal video was suggested an admittedly long time ago by a commenter, and I am finally getting to it. That being the Heath Hen. So thank you for the suggestion, and let's roll the intro, and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so I have my reference images all pulled up, and I'm starting with the basic sketch. So the reason this drawing takes me a bit longer than most is because I'm actually drawing two heath hens. The reason for this is because there was a large amount of differences in the appearances between male and female heath hens, and so I figured I would draw them both just to get the full distribution of what heath hens could look like in the drawing. And I'm starting with the female heath hen, and at this point I've already gotten most of the bodies sketched in, actually I believe all the bodies sketched in, and I'm now drawing in the feet of the heath hen. So after they're drawn in the front leg, I then draw in the back leg and add in a little toe. And then I, do I already start coloring it in? I do. However, because I went with a white color for the base and then add in like the brown lines on top of it. Around this point in the drawing, I realized it was beneficial to remove the background. So that way I could actually see the white that I was coloring in and not miss any spots in the drawing, which I, could be a major problem, I realized. So uh, that's why I did it. So I color in the main body with the white, and then I, do I start in with the round lines immediately? I do. I start off with this initial concept of just doing them straight across, and then I kind of just do them kind of more haphazardly, but I don't like how it looks at all. So I completely undo it around this point, and then I decide to do it kind of in lines, but more split up, just to make it kind of, kind of like a pattern, but not really. But generally get the general idea of cross of the feather patterns on the heath hen. So then I draw like the little eye mark because there was a little mark on the eye that I noticed, like uh, not on the eye, under the eye I noticed in the reference images I had. And then I color in the beak and the little feather thing near the neck. And then I believe I move on to either doing the back leg or the, I do the legs at this point. So I draw in the leg that's more in the background, like the toe, and that's more in the background, then I do the leg that's in the background, like so. I then move on to doing the tail with a brown color like that and then I believe I move on to doing a darker brown color for the tip of the tail like so. I then move on to doing my normal electric blue eye I believe. No I do the smile and then I do my electric blue eye right there adding in the pupil and then the light shine thing. And in a normal extinct animal drawing I would be done at this point. However I'm drawing two heath hens not one. So I believe at this point I begin heath hen number two. I get the new layers set up because those have to be set up. And then I begin the sketch for the second heath hen that's going to be in the background. So then I draw in, I try to draw in, I mean, the like head area because it's kind of weird drawing it from an angle, I think. But also it's a slightly different featherage, not featherage, plumage is the correct word, on the male heath hen. So I have to get that design in. So I try to get the beak in, but it's not going very well. And I, it takes me a bit to get something I'm happy with, or I think that's what I go with. At least for now, that's what I go with. So then I cover in going through the belly, and then I draw in the back, as well as the tail of the male heath hen, like so. After that is drawn in, I then move on to drawing the legs, not the legs, the uh, feathers of the wing of the male heath hen. And after that's drawn in, I begin drawing in the um, feet of the male heath hen, like so. At this point, I believe I start coloring it in. I do, I start coloring in the male heath hen. However, initially I have the wrong color because my photo, I was one of the photos I was using was in black and white. So because of that, it um, kind of looked like it should be black plumage, but it was actually the brown plumage, same as the female heath hen. However, since it's in the background, I'm using darker shades of these colors across the board on the male heath hen just to show that it's in the background and therefore in the shade because like shading and foregrounds, midground, stuff like that. Yeah. So I color in the face plumage and then draw in the slightly darker electric blue eye, but still there. So I draw it in and then I draw in the smile. It takes me a while to realize I'm on the paintbrush tool. And then I just keep coloring in various plumages for the heath hen like that. I then color it in in a gray color, like so. There. Like that. And then I draw in the smile, and then I move on to coloring in the rest of the body. I get a very big pencil tool and just color it in just 
on mass like that. I then realized I need to erase parts of the female heap hands because it kind of bled over in terms of the layers. So I erase it like that, and then go down through there, and then I think I color in the back at this point. Yes, I know I color in the tail, the tips of the tail, and stuff like that, and then I color in like that, and like um, that. And then do a bit more eraser work, I believe. Yes, I do. Okay, at this point I then move on to coloring in the tail, like that, and making it all smooth out a bit more, and then I color it in like so, like that. And then I draw in a bunch of lines to show again the same like feather plumage thing that the heat fans had, this time on the male one in the background, like so. And then I, do I, what do I do next? I do the feather tips that are in the background like that and that and then I move on to doing the feet like this like so I use a lot of darker tans because I've already got pretty dark tan so these are some really dark shades of tan that I'm using on the feet then I decide to make the background orange so that I can do the smoothing out work without like not seeing the borders because I drew it in white for one of them so I needed to make sure I could actually see all the borders. So I do a lot of smoothing out work starting with the head of the male heath hen and just working my way down. I do a bit of correction work on the beak to get it to something I'm actually happy with which takes a little bit of time but I do eventually get there and then it's just a lot of smoothing out work whether it be coloring in and adding more or erasing parts just to make it look nice and smooth all the way through the drawings for the most part. Okay, so after doing the smoothing out work on the belly, I then move on to do the feet. And there's a lot of problems here with the feet. I got a lot of the proportions wrong and I'm missing a giant section of the dividing area between the two feet, like two different birds' feet. So I color in a bit more and then add in the shading lines that are needed to divide them like so. Yes, like so. After that's done, I do a bit more smoothing work, and then I move on to just doing a lot more smoothing work all throughout the drawing, just going right through there and through there and adding, I believe I added shading lines, I do, and just adding in more through there and through there, and I realized I drew different parts of it on different layers, which was annoying, so I had to switch through layers at various points. I think I actually realized that when I was doing the feed, but I became fully aware of how much of a problem it was going to be around this time, I believe. So I just do a bunch more racer work, just going through there, and then um, doing a bunch more racer work on the back, and then I do a bit more through here, right? Yes, and I apologize if you can hear my chair that I'm sitting in. So then I realize I need to do a bit more smoothing work on the back of the female um, Heath Hen, and then I um, add a bit more to the head because I didn't like the shape, it wasn't very accurate, so then I make it a bit more accurate, like so, and just do a bit more smoothing out work through there, and then there. Okay, and then I believe I added the dividing line between the two heat pens. And then I go through there, and I keep going, and I add in a bit more just to make it look all even-like, and then I fix that area because it takes me a while, but I do get it eventually. I then go down through there, and then I go and do something there for some reason. I don't think I kept anything. I might have, but I don't think I did. So then I believe I finish up the dividing line right through here. I add in a bit more in here to fill in the gap, and after a few off-screen tweaks to the feet, here is my final drawing of some heat pens. What do you think of my drawing of some heath hens? Let me know in the comments down below. What extinct animals do you want me to draw in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!